Hallo, herzlich willkommen im DFF, Deutsches Filminstitut und Filmmuseum. Um, my name is Ellen Harrington. I have the honor to be the director here. And I have the great, great honor today of welcoming, um, I think you could say legendary filmmaker Costa Gavras here in the DFF. So please, a applause. <laughs> so... He is going to sit with Natasha Gikas and have a conversation in just a minute. And I only want to say a two very quick things. Um, he's here as part of our work with the Lichter Film Festival. He's screening his film Adults in the Room tonight at 7.30. I encourage you to go uh, to the Cantata Sal to see it. Um, of course, we're about to see his uh, Oscar-winning film Z. Uh, very shortly. And uh, Costa Gavras was also very gracious. He took a tour of the film museum and he also was part of a panel about the future of filmmaking and the future of the conversation in Europe about uh, the survival of cinema, I think. And he has really very strong opinions on the topic. But the thing that is most endearing to us at DFF is that he's a passionate believer in film education and bringing young people into the cinema from the earliest age. And this is something that, of course, course, we do in the film museum. You see, we just had a group of children leaving. And with his leadership of the Cinémathèque Française, we're lucky enough also to have partnered with many projects, including um, a young people's filmmaking project called Cinéma saint anne de Jeunesse, which was headquartered for 25 years at the Cinémathèque Française and now is headquartered this year, beginning at DFF. So with that, I know you're really mostly interested in hearing from him more than me. So I will thank you all for being here. Um, and I turn the podium over to Costa Gavras and Natasha Gikas. Thank you so much. Uh, good afternoon. I am uh, happy to see you, to see a full, almost full theater. It's always a big pleasure for a director. And I think also it's better for me to speak with it audience before the movie, because after the movie, you know, don't know what happens. So, so it's a precaution, I would say. But uh, so what we say about uh, Z or Z, it's based on a real story. Probably some of you, you know already, but it's absolutely based on a, story, a real story happened in Greece in the 63. And uh, it was important to me to make that movie when uh, Vasily Vasilikos wrote the book, which completely closed, closed to the, very close to the, to the assassination. And the movie, it's, uh, even if it's Greek, in Greek story, it's made in French. At that time, it was impossible to make a movie in, in Greece. And uh, it was also a miracle because no producer would like to produce that movie. Even if we have all the list of the actors you're going to see, well, at that time, most of them they were famous, like Montan, Trentignan, uh, Jacques Perrin, Irene Papas, and some others, you see. And uh, fortunately, thanks to Jacques Perrin, I, told, I called him a day, I said, Jacques, this movie cannot be made. We don't find the money, we don't find the place to make it. And he said, can we go to Algeria? Probably Algiers, the, the town probably can be for the movie. We went there. And we saw it, and was uh, were helped by the that per, uh, the Algerian government of that period, and we were able to make the movie, and we found some money in other places, but by the Algerians because they don't have money in that period. So, and when the movie opened, it, nobody wanted to see it, very few people, and we were this come uh, desperate, and little by little, day after day, week after day, after. Two weeks, three weeks, the theaters were full, and the and it was playing in Paris for 45 weeks and went all over the world. It was a really miracle because nobody believed it in the movie. As you see, usually in a movie you have main character going all the way down. You have a love story. You have action movies and so action scenes and those story. Uh, not, nothing of this was taking place in the movie. It was just the assassination. What's going on around? And uh, so that's the movie we're going to see. And uh, I would like to insist to the fact that the characters, if we don't name them, they are really characters. And also the, the situations are really current situations. We didn't, uh, cinema, we're going to make a, 
what we do generally in the movie to over dramatize all the contrary sometimes you try to be lower by the real drama that's what can I say more what can I say more about the movie <laughs> Sorry for my English, but in French it would be much better. But apparently, very few of you speak French, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. if nobody. Mm -hmm. Maybe can you still refer a little bit to the title? Because nowadays... No, the, the title was a, a problem also, <laughs> because for the financiers, they would say, Z, who's going to go to see Z? What Z? They say nothing. And say, probably we're going to look like zero. Z zero. Like zero, you know. the. And by insisted, really strongly, Uh, that to keep a Z with a very classic Z, but also in Greek, to be first different from the Zorro, which is a different thing. And I will tell you a small story. Montan told me a day, Yves Montan told me a day, uh, are you sure for the title? Because some people can say it's like zero, Zorro, or some people, the critics can say zero is like Zorro, <laughs> zero, <laughs> zero. <laughs> but we kept it, and finally it became something People accept it and went to see the movie. Mm -hmm. And now they talk about Z in a certain way. Of course, right now, Z yeah. becomes... <laughs> That's the problem, yes. <laughs> <laughs> We have Z in Ukraine. We have also an extreme right person in France, Z Moore, who created a Z club. Mm -hmm. But he's out now. It's okay. One Z is down. Mm -hmm. Now you're up, let's hope the other Z in Ukraine is going to be down too. Yes. yes. And can you... Um, Tell the audience, because there are not so many Greeks here, what Z means. I think Z maybe means, maybe, you will yeah. see it at the end mm -hmm. of the movie, ah. Z is in life, in Greek, in actual Greek, in ancient Greek. Uh, zo, zo, Z, Z, it's a verb to say, I'm in life, I'm, I'm living, I'm a survivor. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it was a way for the, after the assassination of that, uh, of the person, the, of this uh, 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 deputy parliamentary person, uh, the young people on the streets, wrote Z everywhere, saying that she's still in life, yeah. Um, yes, and you uh, worked with this film, you worked with not only with, um, the actors are very famous, but also the other parts, um, like the, um, the, 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 the story um, book uh, was written by um, uh, Seprun, you worked with him together for the, for the, yes, for the we, book we, adaption. We, what happened, um, in fact, I was in Greece to see my parents, <coughs> and my brother, as we gone out, Give me a book, say, this is a book. It was a Friday. Say, read that book. A friend of mine <coughs> wrote it. And you, you will be interested. I will start reading it. And uh, by Saturday evening, I have finished it. Next morning, Sunday morning, my friend Georges Saint-Prenant called me. He said, you see what happened in Greece? You, did you see that? Did you hear it? I said, no. The military took the power. Of course, it was a big surprise. And we met all together, as we used to do on the Sunday, with the Montan, friends, other Chris Marker, some other friends, to see what we could do against. So, to write petitions or, I don't know, to do something against. And I said to St. Prune, look, I have a book, probably we can make the movie. And, uh, he's, and I told him the story, which he knows already, he knows the story. And said, so, okay, let's try. And we did the script. <coughs> uh, we are not paid. We just had a promise from a United Artists to, to continue to read the script and to eventually uh, produce the movie. And when I go back one month and a half later to the United Artists, I say, here's the script. The, the, the president, who was quite a friend, he said, no, no, you don't never do that movie. It's going to be a catastrophe for you. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like a catastrophe, but it was also a surprise. The kind of miracle can happen in cinema sometimes. It can happen because we don't trust the audience, finally. That's our problem. <laughs> and we should sometimes trust the audience because I, they are, can be much better than all of us, and particularly the producers, because they, we don't have the same thinking. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> And can you say also something about the music? Um, how did you achieve to um, get the music from um, Mikis Theodorakis? Um, I think it was he was already in prison by the time, or um, 
You want you mean? Uh, uh, the music is by um, oh, the Mr. music. Yes. Oh, the music for the movie. That mm -hmm. was another mistake. <laughs> I would like to have a Greek music, of course. And the only person <clears throat> who could do it was Dimitris Theodorakis, which at the time was very, mm -hmm. and after this was very known in in in, uh, in, in Germany and everywhere. So I, uh, he was in exile. He was impossible to approach because he, he was down in mountain in in a, in a small village. So my wife, with her with her uh, young lady's uh, uh, name, she went to try to approach. It was impossible. And Jacques Perrin, a producer, went to and they let him go. So when Mixed the right, he learned that I was what I was doing. He wrote in his in his pack of cigarettes, Costa can take anything of my movie. That's all. <laughs> That's the only contract we never had. And I went through all his music, hours and hours of music. So I two pieces of it. And we reproduce it, we redo it, we did it with uh, with the Greek uh, uh, with the Greek musicians living here and living in Belgium, and some of them in in France. And we reproduced that movie, and I think it was a good idea. And I think the movie plays a very important role for the for the acceptance and for the the rhythm of the movie for everything. Yeah. And of course, mixed the like saw the movie years later when he was freed from the. Mm -hmm. From the prison. Yes, and also in Greece, I think the mu um, movie, when was it showed in Greece itself, the music, uh, the, the um, film, when could it be first shown in Greece? In Greece, it was shown in the movie after the colors left, mm -hmm. but not immediately. The prime minister at that time asked me uh, uh, not to show immediately the movie because he was preparing a uh, referendum against the king, against or for the king. And he said, I don't want the movie to play any role concerning the referendum. So the king was thrown out, which was a good idea for me. <laughs> and then the movie was shown next day, and it was a big success. Really. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, until now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, I don't know if maybe we, shall we have a question from the audience, if there is any? Um, yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. Just or just another five minutes and then... Yeah. Uh, hello, Mr. Gavras. Uh, I'm Italian, and I can understand. I can remember that at that time I was a kid. But your film Z uh, Zeta, Lorza del Potere, it was a huge uh, success. Uh, everybody was talking about that. <coughs> My question is the following: How come that you made a film that was like uh, a very big things for for the left, and then the next film was? Uh, something that it was shown here last week, which was so against uh, the Communist Party and uh, Czechoslovakia. So I'm really surprised that you managed to make a film anti-fascist, and next film is anti-communist and in, in that period of time. So I really wonder how did you manage to do that? I, I, I did something which I was thinking of. I was as a young man, probably some of you also, very young, but we you used to believe that the communism would be something important for our societies. We changed the world. It was the promises they are giving to us. And after a while, we understood it was all, all the contrary. So as a, as a filmmaker, after Z, I, was, I found by chance also a book, a real book about those, pro, those uh, uh, trials in Europe. So. I said, okay, I will do it. The funny thing is that a lot of people said that uh, after Z, they said I was a communist. And then when I did the movie, The Confession, they didn't understand what was possible to go from one side to another. But I think that's, that's, that's what you think about democracy is the only way to do it. I mean, democracy is in between somewhere. It's not one side or the other. And some people say it also they did it because Z was a success so they did for money for the other, the other side. No, it was because I was thinking like this, and the important me, film, thing for me to do uh, the confession, it was that it was a real story made by a real Czechoslovakian, half Jew, half Jew uh, he was minister in, in Czechoslovakia, and uh, he was trialed, and so that his story was important to be a real one, because at that time a lot of anti-communist movies have been made, and it was really fake, most of them. They, they were losing 
they lose the reality of the thing. And that story has really the reality of, the, of a man who has suffered directly. That was important. Um, your movie was shot on location in Algeria, and 10 years earlier, there was also a mutiny or a coup d'etat by the French army stationed in Algeria, and there were um, human rights violations, atrocities committed by the French against the Algerians. So the story of the movie is about the dictatorship in Greece, but did you have in mind also the, um, as a second story, also the situation in uh, Algeria in the po in the anti-colonial struggle. Um, you you mean about about Z? You talk about yeah. About Z, yeah. The lo location is in Algeria. You know, we we di I did the movie. We did that movie directly, as you go outside and you write on the wall ba back down with colonels. That was the our our our. Of all of us, so prune, even the actors who accepted really without being, was not being paid at the beginning. We did that with that feeling. And that was important for us. Now, what we can say today, we can think about the movie, it's completely different because the situation has changed and everything is different. And we can approach it with a different way. But that time for us was a kind of direct reaction about that, if I ask you to your question. More or less. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think. Um, thank you very much for coming. Thank you for listening to me. And um, yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Mm -hmm. okay. Good movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we, we will see now the restoration Sorry, from. Just one yeah. question. Mm -hmm. Some of people, some of you have seen already the movie or not? <laughs> well, there are some. Okay. <laughs> 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 Two times, <laughs> two times, three times, okay. Okay, thank you very much, yes. Okay.